Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. Whilst creating a project in DaVinci Resolve, the software needs to store file and content properties in a specific directory so that the video editor is able to work with these, such as the properties of the two edits that I have on my edit timeline here. A similar folder belonging to a specific drive on your computer like C or D is used also for gallery stills, which can be accessed directly by the video editor using the monitor and preview features of DaVinci Resolve, such as the preview window towards the top of the edit window here. But if these storage drives on your computer run out of space, you will not be able to continue developing your project as you won't be able to save your latest work. So how can we change the storage location of the cache and gallery still files? Go to project settings in the bottom right corner of the DaVinci Resolve software. Inside master settings, scroll down to get to working folders. You should find two directories written underneath this header. One to store cache files for your project and another one to store the gallery stills. If you click on browse for either of these two options, you can check which drive on your computer has the highest amount of storage space available. In this particular example here on my computer, only 8% of the total amount of memory storage available on my D drive is currently being used, providing sufficient space for cache and gallery stills for projects that I am working on in DaVinci Resolve. To change the drive where your project cache and gallery stills are stored, simply choose one of the options available in the file destination window. To select a specific folder in your selected drive, click on the arrow to the left of the drive reference and select a folder. Subdirectories can be also found by clicking on the arrows to the left of these folder names. Or to create a new subdirectory yourself, simply click on Add New Folder in the bottom left corner of the window. In this particular example, since there is more space available on my D drive, I'm going to select this option as the location where my cache and gallery stills will be stored. Select the file destination and click OK. And repeat the same process for the other working folder. Once you have chosen the folders for your cache files and gallery stills, click on Save. Click on Update when the following window appears to ensure that DaVinci Resolve has the relevant directory. Having returned to my project settings, I can see that the directory for the cache files location has not been updated, even though the location for the gallery stills has been changed. If you experience this problem, here is a resolution. Close the project settings by clicking on Cancel. Click on DaVinci Resolve in the top left corner of your interface. Select Preferences. Inside Media Storage, select the relevant file location underneath Media Storage Locations. Click on Remove to delete the directory underneath Mount. Now go to click on Add. Select a folder where you want the cache files to be stored and click on Select Folder. The file location drive on my window has changed from C to D. Click on Save, and a window appears explaining that the effects will take place next time DaVinci Resolve is started. Click OK. With your project file reopened, return to Project Settings, and double check the Cache Files Location section inside your Master Settings, to see that your directory for your cache files is updated. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.